This is a CRT monitor. And since I don't have much care for it, it makes it the perfect candidate for an experimental video. This is the KTX BM15D. If you haven't heard of KTX, well, you're not the only one because it's one of those brands that kind of isn't really a real brand. It is from 1998, which makes it the oldest monitor I have. And somehow, despite its cheapness and age, it still works almost completely fine. Now, I'm going to use the term overclocking very loosely here. It's not really overclocking, but it kind of is. The monitor is really only made to go up to 85 Hz. You can unofficially get a higher refresh rate out of this monitor by sacrificing resolution. If we multiply the vertical refresh rate by the vertical resolution, we get the horizontal refresh rate. And here it equates to about 65,000 Hz. And in this video, I'm not going to be increasing that value. Instead, I'm going to be changing the balance of the equation. If we set the monitor to 800 by 600, then we can easily reach a refresh rate of 100 Hz. Because 100 times 600 is 60,000, which is well below the 65,000 Hz limit. But let's go even further. This is the lowest allowed resolution by the normal display properties in Windows. But if we go to the NVIDIA control panel, we can go down to 640 by 480. At this resolution, we can push the monitor up to 120 Hz, while still being well below the 65,000 Hz limit. And the monitor is still working completely fine. Although 640x480 is a pretty bad resolution. One thing I noticed is that if you go onto a screen with mainly white on it, it emits a high pitch noise. I got too greedy by attempting to push the monitor even further by setting it to 140Hz. This unfortunately just made the monitor turn off. This is because 140 times 480 is more than 65,000Hz. So in order for the monitor to protect itself, it turns itself off. But some monitors don't do this, and you could risk damaging the driver circuitry for the cathode ray tube. I tried some aftermarket software to lower the resolution even further, but it didn't seem to work. And by that, I mean I had no idea how to use the software. The theoretical maximum refresh rate on 640 by 480 is 135Hz. Now this is as far as I'm going to go in this video, but there are ways to push the refresh rate even higher. On some versions of the NVIDIA control panel, you can interlace the video, which would allow you to effectively double the refresh rate of the monitor, and a slight reduction of picture quality. Or you could just bump it down to 240p, which is pretty bad for Windows, but it should be fine for old games. And of course you can't actually see the smoothness of 120Hz on this video, because YouTube only allows a maximum of 60fps and I'm recording this at 30 FPS. So you're just gonna have to trust me when I say it looks really nice and smooth. Also, online refresh rate testers didn't really work because this computer is slow by today's standards and the refresh rate testing software just didn't want to install because this computer is too old. So, would I recommend you doing this? Well, yes and no. If you wanna maximize the performance of an old monitor, then sure, go ahead. But you do have to realize that there is a slight risk of breaking something in the process. However, if this crappy monitor can handle it, I'm sure an actual branded monitor could handle it just fine. The high possible refresh rates for these monitors made them a very popular choice for gamers even after LCDs overtook the market, because older LCDs had low refresh rates and high latency. So that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. I can actually smell burning right now. That's not good.